My name is Steve Pasteiner, and um, I've been a car nut all my life, and it's been quite a long life up to this point. Behind us here is um, it basically was the idea of a gentleman named John Thomas, who was uh, the sales uh, executive vice president at uh, Magna. And Magna is a huge supplier to the industry. So uh, we did a lot of work for Magna, and at one point he came to us with some drawings of what uh, their idea was of what it could be to kind of integrate the uh, original design of the 1953 Corvette with the modern Corvette. Well, we ended up doing quite a bit of work on that uh, on that drawing, but essentially the, it was their idea, and and uh, we executed a model of it. It was a it was a very nice uh, uh, one third scale model, and then uh, when GM decided that they they didn't have the time, they had other cars to do, didn't have the manpower, then they pulled out of the uh, out of the job or out of the proposal, and then uh, we kind of uh, asked if we could uh, go ahead and, and uh, pursue it, and they agreed to do that. So um, it, the car basically is a C5 Corvette that has some of the body panels removed. It has a new front clip on it, new headlights, new bumpers, but um, underneath it all, it's, it's all the same Corvette. It has the same performance, and uh, we retain the safety items on it. So. Um, Basically, it, it was very well received, and uh, we didn't publicize it enough, but, but the, in spite of all of that, magazines tended to write on it, and uh, we built 200 of these vehicles, um, actually 200 of the convertibles, and 14 of the, uh, of the Nomad Roadster, or Nomad uh, Wagons. And the Nomad was actually built originally as a Corvette concept station wagon, 1954 and then out of that came the 55 54 no, 55 6 and 7 Chevy Nomads but uh, the original was indeed a Corvette uh, concept car <laughs>